VR is an incredible technology. We can use it to change how we consume video games, uh, certain cinematic experiences, and now we can use it for, it seems, medical purposes. Uh, James Blaha has had what we would call uh, cross-eyed or cross eyes or lazy eyes his entire life, and he has found what, with the developer kit for the Oculus a way that he could possibly fix his condition, and it's been successful. Uh, let's take a look at some of the work he's been doing. You may have noticed that the uh, there is an object on the right side of the screen only. Uh, this was in an effort to strengthen the weaker of the two of his eyes, and he's reported a lot of success. He had 20-70 vision when he started this, and he's getting close to 20-20 now uh, that he's reporting, which sounds great. Yeah. So what it is is, like I said, when it, usually what happens when you have a child with lazy eye. What you would do is cover up one eye to help train the other one, and then it's not really as easy when you get older yeah. to do this, to, to kind of rewire your brain, so to speak. Um, but this is what he's, the, the goal of what he's doing with this uh, software is to fix that. And apparently it works. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's, that's what's great about, there are a lot of practical applications behind the entertainment for VR mm -hmm. that I'm sure we'll just see more of stuff like this. And this works really well because you have the dual screens and it's high frame rate, mm -hmm. which it means it's easier on the eyes as well. Um, but like even like if you think about social anxieties or any kind of any any crippling anxieties that you can kind of uh, train people to to like a, a small thing. If you're afraid of getting up on stage and talking to people, mm -hmm. you can simulate that experience in VR. It's I mean, a little different. It's though. different, but it's still it's you know it's still dipping your toe into the water. Yeah, I mean it's it's a way to train your brain. Yeah, or if, um, you're, if you're afraid of tigers, you know, put on a thing and you're I in the jungle. I think it's a different principle though because this heavily utilizes the the idea that there's two different screens, right? Uh, yeah. Which is a key part of you know traditional uh, fixing or correcting. Yeah. This this vision issue. Yeah. It's um it's cool. I'm excited to see more. Like, and I think this is just the beginning. Like, mm -hmm. we'll just see more and more like this. I wonder if it can train. I mean, I guess it couldn't. It couldn't repair like regular vision, could it? Like no, because that's more of a a physical, uh, tangible, biological right. issue. Yeah. yeah. Which is a it's a slightly different. Uh, yeah, you may still need LASIK okay. for that, okay. uh, go for per it. se. But this is an interesting thing to look at because I think we're still imagining how we can utilize VR um, because we're still learning how, how do we tell a, a real full-length feature movie story through VR and it's a lot yeah. of it is looking around and how do we, you know, have people looking in the right direction, how do we do this without giving them whiplash. It's, mm. it's, it's something we're all still largely yeah. just learning about and learning how to revolutionize. That's something I'm working with right now, is like how to tell a story in VR. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's challenging, it's, though. It's challenging, it? but it, it, it's a good challenge because you don't have a set constraint. Yeah. You know, it's almost like a play that's all around you, but it's it's pretty similar to games in a way where you don't have cinematics. Um, but yeah, all that stuff is, is fascinating. VR, like I know people don't really get it until they're, they're in it, and I still have... I still have um, hesitations about how big of an impact it's going to be as soon as it comes out, but I think as it improves and goes on uh, throughout the years, it'll mm -hmm. it'll become a great product. Yeah, I mean, I think at first in a lot of emerging technologies, people will not understand how it works and be like, maybe this is a fad. Um, but it always takes that you know maybe that one person to pioneer and be like, look how I told this story, and then everybody would be like, I get it, I can do it. Uh, and maybe the same thing goes with uh, correcting vision issues. Uh, what do you think of this technology and the ways that we can use it? Let us know below in the comments. And please subscribe for more.